Okay, be honest. What's the first thing that comes in your mind when you wake up? I'm so tired, I've not had enough sleep. Or maybe your baby's been up all night and um, you've not had sleep for days. So every day you wake up, the first thing that comes to your mind is that you're tired. Or maybe you say something like, oh my God, another day of mayhem. And it's totally normal because I've done it myself. But do you know what you're doing to yourself? Okay, so in this video, I'm going to speak to you about the importance of the thoughts and the words, the first thought and the first few words that comes in your mind when you wake up. Hi, so my name watching. is Nazma Hatun and I'm a transformational mm -hmm. mindset coach for mums. And in this channel, I share with you everything that uh, comes from personal development, all the tools that you can use to become the best version of yourself so you can serve yourself best and your family and have some peace in the chaos of motherhood. So if you like personal development videos, like this please subscribe to my channel and like this video and also share with anyone that you think that could benefit from these videos and don't forget to um, press that notification bell so you are notified for any future videos that the i do is a very clever little thing and it's so important for us to understand the power of it because basically the brain is always on survival mode and what that means is it's basically scanning for anything that will um, will keep us away from danger so it's always looking for negative possibilities so for example what if i do this and this will happen or i can't do this because um, it's creating fear and stress and anxiety con consistently and that's what where we have to really work on our mindset to be able to turn that around so we can develop and also be the better version of ourselves to have a positive mind. So as it's creating um, those stress level and anxiety level through the, the process of thinking negative possibilities, the brain is basically creating negative chemicals, which is... Um, the, the negative hormones which is known as the cortisols um, the stress the stress and more and more the brain is going through this process it is increasing the level of anxiety and the stress as the neuroscientists say neurons that wire together fire together or there's another quote where um, I can't remember who the quote was by but it basically says um, where energy where focus goes energy flows so just imagine on a daily basis as you wake up and you say these negative um, words and thinking of those negative thoughts like I'm so tired, oh my god, another day, I'm fed up or um, it's normal for us to feel like that because we are continuously doing this job of a mother and it's not easy, it's rewarding but it's not easy but it's us to be, um, it's up to us to change this thinking process if we want to have a bit more peace in our life because if you spend the whole whole of your motherhood bringing your kids raising your kids up with these thoughts you instead of enjoying um, the good moments and there are so many good moments because we focus on the negative stuff we forget the good moments so if you if you carry on doing these things you're not going to enjoy the process of motherhood and then your kids of course will feel that energy so the pro the way to improve that is to take control of your thinking and the words that you put into your feed into your so brain. to change this pattern of negative thoughts and negative words feeding into our mind is we have to take control of conscious consciously practicing tools like the gratitude because when the neurons are connected with positive cells is creating the happy hormones which is known as the endorphins um, and dopamine so we um, have to consciously practice tools like our gratitude. job to help our brain go beyond the survival mode by practicing things like gratitude focusing on the good and the more and more you practice on that on a daily basis the more and more your brain will be wired to think and focus on the good things 
there's a uh, saying by a quote by Wayne Dyer and he says um, if you change the way you look at things the thing you look at will change so you there is whatever the situation is however frustrating and overwhelming the situation is if you look at it in a positive way and I'm going to give you an example from my point of view is when I used to wake up and I mean wake up every 30 minutes in the night to feed to nurse my son because he I co-sleep with him so it was going on for months and months up until maybe when he was 16 17 months um, and you know every I mean initially I struggled and I couldn't go back to my normal routine of doing the gratitude because you know I couldn't find that five minutes to do so but I had to change um, change that mindset and get back to what I was used to doing so instead of saying I'm so tired I woke up and I said things like I'm so happy and grateful that I was there to comfort my son I'm so happy and grateful to wake up to another day another blessed day so I can be there to comfort my son whatever he's feeling however emotion he's taking out in a, in a negative way and however challenging it is I am there for him and he needs a mum and as soon as my husband was I came home I took my break and I did what I needed to do to have some rest so it's a process and the more and more you do it the more and more the easier it gets and the mind gets wired to do those positive um to use those positive tools to focus on the good so how do you t um practice gratitude okay so firstly th think of uh, the best method that you can use i know it's hard to uh take a phone sorry a book out and start writing because you know if especially if it's a very clingy baby like my one was my one is still is he's a toddler now um so pick a method whether you want to do it on the phone if it's more convenient to do it on a phone digitally or um do it on a notebook i would obviously highly recommend doing it on the notebook because as you write it, your nerve senses and then it goes you basically it's much more easier to remember and it ingrains in your brain better rather than doing on the phone but whatever works for you start at least make a start on it and then the second is to pick a time um, ideally first thing in the morning but gratitude can be practiced any time of the day but if you start in the morning then it kind of you design your day you're kind of giving the vibe the kind of energy that you want to start your day off with so if you start in the morning you start with a good vibe that's completely different for everyone again depending on you know the kind of situation you're in if you have a baby maybe you have more than under twos more than under five I mean more than one child who is under two or more than one child under five it is challenging um, so pick a time and five minutes of your day if you do it on a daily basis it accumulates and it has a ripple effect of in in your life in a very very positive Third way step is before writing your gratitude you take the time to reflect maybe meditate for a minute and have a little think there's so many things that come up the smile of your baby the way the baby's talking to you um the, the little little precious moments that comes in your mind i am so happy and grateful the way my baby smiles at me i'm so happy and grateful the bond i have with my baby when i'm nursing my baby I'm so happy and grateful my you know, partner, my husband is supporting me through these challenges by giving me the breaks. I'm so happy and grateful that I can work on my business around my kids. There is so many. When you start writing them, they just come out. You, if you really struggle, you can th say things like, I'm so happy. It doesn't have to be about your baby. It doesn't have to be about your partner. It doesn't have to be about anything to do with motherhood it could be simple things like i'm so happy and grateful that i have water i am so happy and grateful that i have um clean bathroom i'm so happy and grateful that i have a clean cozy bed to go into in the in the cold nights there's so many if you want examples of more of these um gratitude comment below and i will definitely reply to your comments. fourth step is um if you have a day where you're not able to do um, the gratitude and that's th that is going to happen without a doubt it's happened to me and still happens to me 
is go when you have even one minute even if you can pick up your journal your gratitude journal or notebook look at the ones that you've written before and just reflect on the ones that you wrote before because you might not be able to write it down just read through the the ones that you've done before and remind yourself you are going to go back to those thoughts the you know the survival mode remember that our brain is designed to be on the survival survival mode so if you are going back to those negative thinking um those negative words and thoughts just try your best to redirect to those positive thoughts of gratitude so yeah that was my tips on how to do gratitude and why you should most importantly why you should do gratitude on a daily basis this is all my tips on how to do gratitude and most importantly why you should practice gratitude on a daily basis so if you like this video i would love for you to like this video and share it with someone who might benefit from it and if you like videos like this be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified for future videos that i upload in the future also just remember to be kind be humble and spread only love and i will see you soon take care bye